So guys, I need to get me a couple of buckets to start back another hydroponic Dutch bucket system. And I'm going to do the same thing I did last time. It's just crazy to go to Lowe's, Home Depot, or any big box store, hardware store, and buy a bucket for like $3 or more. It's just crazy. You can come to a grocery store, they have a bakery, and you can get the buckets that they use with cake icing for free because they throw them away. I mean, you know, you just call ahead and see if they have any on hand. Call If they don't, call and ask them to save you a few. And uh, I'm here now at the food line and I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple of buckets. They apparently have five or six. I'll also call Kroger. They have a few and they're going to save me some more for tomorrow. And I'm going to go by and pick up those tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and snatch me up a couple of buckets. That's what a bucket haul looks like. So it's actually the next day and I just went ahead and picked up the buckets from Kroger, as you just saw. Interestingly enough, I actually called Kroger yesterday and they said they'd hold what they had and then I'd come. I, told him I'd come pick them up tomorrow, which is today at 5 o'clock, and see, I mean, you know, whatever they had, and um, they were like, I had to put your name on them, and check with the manager, and all this going, well, okay, whatever, it was great, and I actually just went ahead, like I said, you saw what I got yesterday, I just drove, I mean, called food line and said, do you have any buckets? They said, sure, come on by and get them, I said, all right, I'm on my way. Said they got five or six, what they thought. The girl got I got there and the girl gave me 13 buckets. And the cool thing is they washed them out. At least they did at this store. They already washed them out and everything. So that's cool. But I got five buckets today. I can't complain. They're free. So yeah, I'd stand there and wait forever. But I'm gonna go ahead and get these things painted up, drilled, grommets got ordered today, and I'm gonna make me some Dutch buckets. And um so uh let's get at that. Okay guys, I want to show you really quickly and simply how to go ahead and build one of these Dutch buckets. This one right here is just basically one of the um, uh, buckets I got from the bakery with the cake icing. I just painted it black. As you can see here, I've got the spout ready to go. Only thing I'll have to do is cut a hole in the top. I like to keep my lids on, so I'll cut a hole in the top. And I'll do that on the next part. This is the first part of this video. And the second part will be planting installation on the system irrigation lines drain lines but right now we're just building the bucket i've just showed you how i went and picked them up and from then um now you may have to wash yours out depends on where you get them and you know how nice those people are they i was actually shocked to see that they washed them out for me of course you see it's just a white bucket um this one's complete ready to go um i'll go ahead and remove the lid and show you inside couldn't find my tripod. I've just got the can rigged up sitting over there. Um, you've got the grommet going through the hole. It's a 15 16 bit to make that hole. I use a spade bit or paddle bit, whatever you call it. Uh, 15 16 is perfect. It's the actual size of the inside dimension of that grommet, um, which is this little guy right here. Just put the light back around so you can see the little grommet. Okay, that's what makes the seal for that pipe to come out of that bucket. You want an elbow on the outside, you probably can't see it for real, but there's an elbow on the inside facing down just like it is here. Okay, so when you have your bucket sitting, and then I'll go into complete detail about this later. Right now I'm just showing you how to build it. But when you have your bucket sitting on your platform, your drip line will go in through here. There'll be perlite in here, your plant will be here. As it fills up, collects in the bottom, the water will come back out this drain into the line, it'll drain back to your nutrient tank, which of course it'll feed back through your irrigation and your drip line. It'll trickle down through all the root system, but it won't fill up more than two inches on the bottom. Now what I do is I go two inches from the bottom of the bucket, that's the center for my hole, 15 16 bit, and I make that hole. And I'm gonna show you on this next bucket. I'm just showing you a complete bucket 
really simple. And what I like to do is I like to find where my handle is, as you can see how it's folding this way, and I like to lay it down, and the center of that handle is where I want my spout to be. And I'm just a perfectionist, and it doesn't really matter. But now, and I'll lay my handle on the back side of the bucket. Of course, again, you'll cut that hole there when you're ready to plant. And I use the probably as a two-inch hole, you know, because I use a lot of two-inch net pots. You can make as big as small as you want. Okay, now let's go for it. Now, again, this bucket here has just been painted. Go ahead and pop off that lid. Now, what I also did, this one does have that hole. But I put a piece of painter's tape on the inside so I don't get any paint. It's actually got the little piece where I cut the hole out. I'll put painter's tape in here just so I don't get any overspray on the inside. Wouldn't be the end of the world if you did. There it is. Now you'll take that grommet and you'll just, it's really not hard to do. You just fit it in, push it, and it pops right in. You want to make sure it's not, um, kinked up or anything it's just it fits right in it's not that hard see okay and also while I've got this here like this so I can put my handle back on I just take it off so I don't get any paint on it that I mentioned I was a little bit of a perfectionist um this is a six inch half inch PVC pipe now it's very important one end of it I sanded it, beveled it, and rounded it so that it'll go in that grommet. Um, and I like to take the line. If you have any of the words on there, I put them straight down on the bottom. Just don't want to see that. Go ahead and you can put on one of your half inch elbows, slip, slip fit, no glue needed. I go ahead and I put it on one end already so I can use it like the handle. Again, making sure this is the beveled end that'll be. Um, going in now this is a tight fit i normally use like uh olive oil kind of forgot it it's in there i'm gonna see if i won't need it i'm gonna spit on there it's a tight fit you gotta work it on there let's see if that'll work oh i thought that olive oil is pretty let me go get some olive oil because i'm gonna have to do that Okay, yeah, you see me just trying to do that without the olive oil. Not really happening. Just a little bit of olive oil on there, and she'll slide right on through. Okay, try it again. Just rotate it, twist it, just like so. And I like to go in about halfway of the pipe's length. Make sure that's facing down. And I put that elbow on the bottom in the other side of the pipe. The only reason that is to kind of keep the roots from growing in there, deter them from growing straight out of the pipe. It may happen, but um, done. There it is. I got two. Actually, I've got more than two, but I had one made up. I wanted you to see it first. I wanted to show you how simple it is to go ahead and put another one together. Um, and again, this is part one, and I'll do another part once I get all the buckets ready. But the only other thing after this is cut the hole in the top. Now, I'm going to show you all this on part two, of course. But I put a paint strainer in this thing first, fill it with perlite, rinse the perlite, plant the thing, and we're good to go. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helps you out and gives you some ideas. Uh, in case I didn't mention, the black is to help from deterring algae growth, uh, which is not good for hydroponic nutrients. Um, but yeah, hope you like it. And if you have any questions, please uh, pop them in the comments below. Give us a shot. Stay tuned for part two. Guys, have a great day. Okay, I'm going to try to do a little uh, Matchbox 20 riff. Not going to use the pick. That might not be a good thing, so we're just going to see what happens here. <coughs>
is always worried about things like